miming now? <laughs> smarter. Because Much smarter. The more we talk, the more trouble like, we get. The more get he into. talks today, the more well, the bigger the hole he's just digging. I was hoping that laryngitis would make me say less. <laughs> no. It's not working. We're having a reverse effect. Might be less. It's just it's just uh, it's just the wrong the oh wrong words are coming gosh. out. <laughs> anyway, Todd's here. You can recover Time over the weekend. He'll be normal Todd. again on Monday. Yep, yeah, normal. Uh, wow. Yeah, whatever that is I these days. Rules, please. Hi everybody, it's Friday morning. It's a mild start here. It's mid-November and we're seeing temps in the low 50s. This is pretty good stuff. Rockland's 52, Portland's 52, 40s in Bangor and Augusta. There are exceptions. It's chilly in Lewiston, Auburn, and I bet some of the Oxford Hill towns are in the 30s as well. This air mass in general though will be warm today and tomorrow and then the party is over folks. Cold front that's out here in the Midwest will sweep it all out to sea and the new air mass coming in is going to be the coldest of the season. A complete pattern change next week. I'll show you the temps in a second. But before we get to that cold, we've got to get through some rain. There are the remnants of Nicole over Atlanta, Georgia, moving up the Appalachians. Head right over the spine and into the northeast later today and tonight. We get some drenching rain. A dry and bright start. Shouldn't have any problems on the roads. And again, it's mild for November. Midday, the sun is fading away as the clouds take over. Regardless, our temperatures still achieve the mid 60s, abnormally warm for this time of the year. Afternoon, a lot of Maine is rain free. A lot of Maine is mild, near 60 this evening. But southern Maine, you're going to get some raindrops, and some of the roads on your ride home will be on the wet side. And then after dark and after dinner, here we go. The heavens open up. Boom. Downpours, rumbles of thunder. The intensity really picks up after 7 o'clock. Let's continue the story. Late tonight, after 2 or so, 3 a.m. during the overnight hours, that first batch of heavy, heavy downpours will start to shift into New Brunswick. It will actually be fairly quiet and rain-free if you're up early enough between like 5 and 7 a.m. And then after that, here comes the cold front with the next wave of downpours and perhaps some rumble of thunders too. This is going to be around 10 to noon. And then after that, it's going to get special. The sun is going to come out and there's a chance that we hit 70 degrees, especially across the south. Record highs are attainable. 65 is the record in Portland. 66 is the record in Bangor. May not get the one in Bangor, but we got a really good chance of setting a new record in Portland tomorrow afternoon. Now the rain amounts are still looking impressive, probably an inch to two inches locally higher on the down east coastline. So in any of the downpours, there will obviously be some drainage flooding issues and also some driving issues later on tonight. So if you're out and about late, please drive safely. Get a chance while the sun is still out today or while it's still dry today. You can go clean out around the storm drains that are clogged up with the leaves right now. Sunday is a transition day from the warm to the cold. So we're in the 50s for highs. Can't rule out some afternoon rain showers either. And then high pressure builds in early next week, but this is a cold high and we're only going to have highs in the 40s. And as I mentioned, it's a pattern change from warm right now to cold all of next week. There is no sign of another warm up, probably not until Thanksgiving or beyond. Winter is coming, folks. It certainly is. Gale warnings are up. Seas 3 to 5. Southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. So seven day forecast reads like this. Clouds increase today. We'll have some showers this evening, steadier rain, some of it heavy tonight through midday tomorrow. And then the sun comes out tomorrow afternoon and we'll see highs between 65 and 70. Sunday increasing clouds again. Chance for some afternoon showers, lower 50s. And then the bottom really falls out early next week. Low 40s Monday, Tuesday, and we've got our eye on Wednesday. Parts of New England may see their first snowflakes of oh the season. Gosh. Oh my God. We are kind of overdue for that in that cold air, but uh, it does look like something's <sighs> brewing for the middle of next week. That's just we'll too to quick after these 70 degree days. Oh, it definitely is. It Crazy. definitely is. Yeah. Uh, if you've been with us for two and a half hours at 430, we teased that there was going to be a new member of the team that we'll be introducing, right. and that time is now. That time is now. I am so pleased and so happy to introduce Aaron Myler. He's going to be our new meteorologist on the weekend mornings. There he is, Yay. looking all dapper. 
and so, young and so, hip. So you're only working two days a week? I want to know <laughs> that's really nice. Gig. Well, yeah. you just sign a nice little contract, and then you just talk to the right people. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, I bet you're 33 years. You're talking to the wrong people. My gosh, where have you been all this time, Erin? <laughs> I was stuck in West Virginia for a couple years. So oh, okay. We now we're there. Now Welcome we're here. To Maine. Thank you. Yeah. I like it so far. Which I love because I worked in West Virginia yeah. before I moved back to Maine. Mike Slifer worked in West Virginia before he came back to Maine. Mm -hmm. So apparently that's the breeding ground. Yeah, two of the three are beloved or are going to be beloved. <laughs> oh my gosh. You figure it out at Anyway, home. this isn't about your your TIFF, you two. This is about introducing Aaron to everyone. So welcome. So no, Thank you'll you. be working with us a couple of days a week too, right? Yeah, we'll be yeah. here. I'll probably be out live in the snow a lot this winter. Be here on the weekend mornings. Yeah. So just a little bit of everything, which is keeps it interesting. Nice. So I like real that. quick, yes. real quick. This is this is something I just found out about Aaron earlier this week. He tried for the first time in his lifetime, ketchup and mustard. This was what, a couple of months ago? Uh, I think like last month. Last month was the first time you ever tried it. Yeah, what? I am a very picky person, but I'll also eat the weirdest food. Okay. But I'm not a big seafood person, but I've been told and just I have a goal to try a bunch while I'm here. Okay. Because right. I have to. Hashtag goals. Stay tuned for that <laughs> and Aaron's forecast on the weekends. We've got a lot to look forward to with catch you. Up. And, catch up, and right. thanks for the tips on how to get a better job. Anyway, we've got five things to know as you head out the door this morning coming right up. Don't go away.